April Davis, dating coach and matchmaker with Luma Luxury Matchmaking. Today we're going to be talking about the beginning phase of a relationship. Relationships often start off easy and usually you'll want to spend every minute of the day with your newfound love interest. As easy as it is to slip into this codependent situation, avoid the temptation. This kind of clinginess, whether it's from both of you or just one of you, is bound to get stale after time. My advice to new couples is to enjoy the honeymoon period by keeping the mystery alive. Rather than planning to see each other every day or every evening after work, plan actual dates one to two times a week. This will give you some space to miss each other and you'll both be more satisfied with the relationship if you set a standard of intentional time together. Don't skip the excitement of a new romance to settle into the comfortable habit of always being around each other. Also, it's important to realize that this honeymoon period is just a phase of a relationship and all those feelings of excitement and butterflies are not maintainable long term. Eventually, we need to move to the next phase of the relationship and that is where the true bonding takes place. I've seen some people become addicted to that first phase and just jump from person to person, relationship to relationship relationship, trying to find the right one who can maintain that perfect relationship we feel at the beginning. But th the reality is that there's just no such thing. What tips do you have for people in the beginning phase of a relationship? Share them in the comments below. Did you like this video? If so, subscribe and click the little thumbs up button. Thanks much and see you next time.